I've been gaming for about 15 years now and I have never played a game that is this special and spectacular. This is a game that is full of exotic life, uh, lovely women, and lots of guns and explosions. GTA 5 will be a game that you will play and 20 years later you will look back and just remember all the great moments you had playing the game. You play as three different characters and they each have their own little story and their own little special ability. There's Michael, the middle aged man that is going through his midlife crisis and just wants to relive the good old days when he used to be a bank robber. His special ability is bullet time, which is pretty much you just shooting and it's in slow motion. There's Franklin, which is a straight up thug. His ability is being able to slow down time while in cars. Then there's Trevor. Well, he's just a fucking psycho hillbilly drug dealer. His ability is what I like to call period rage mode. Ah, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Now, you can switch between these characters at any time except some missions. I found it a really cool feature that you can be playing as Michael and then switch over to Franklin to see what exactly he has been up to. In GTA 5, the story is probably one of the greatest in the series. The story is a lot more meaningful and touching than other GTA games. There will be some moments that will just hit the deepest nerve and will really make you feel sorry for the character and the problems they have. Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. If that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. Now the city overall is a huge improvement. The city looks amazing, even outside of the city. It's just so full of life, so full of detail. Y you know, when you head out of the city, you start to see less and less people and then eventually just hit complete desert. Now I was somewhat disappointed when I saw some texture pop-ins, but I kind of understand considering the city is the biggest city I've ever seen in a video game. Now, I only played the game on the PS3, so I'm not sure if that applies for all systems. But still, it didn't ruin the game for me because the beauty just took all of that away. I actually found myself going into little trances because it was it just felt so real. The gameplay in GTA 5 is satisfying beyond reason. This game is like 50 games in one. There is just so much to do in this game. Now, you can always stay on the road and just do the story missions, but you can always head off that road and explore and really just see what the GTA world has to offer. There's literally hundreds of things to do. You can go hunting, you can go scuba diving, base jumping, do some side hit missions, and about a hundred other things. I can't even I really tell you what genre this game is just because you can't really classify this game as one genre. This game is a action adventure game, a role playing game, a sports game, strategy game, and a fighting game. So don't think that is this is just a straight up action game because it's not. This will satisfy all of your gaming needs. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, bro? What are you calling a nigga? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. I never thought there would be a straight up perfect game. After gaming for such a long time, I have literally played hundreds and hundreds of here. games. But this is really classified as a perfect game. Just such a fun-filled a game that will make every gamer feel like a true badass and a true gamer. People have always said that you can never get attached to characters in a video game like you can to characters in a movie. But this game just blows that theory out of proportion. When you finish this game, you will actually be really sad that the game is over because you just really want to see more and more of the boys. This is a game that you will play for months and months and one day you will put it away. Several new game systems will come out, 10 years will pass, and one day you'll walk up into your attic and pull out your old PS3 system or Xbox 360, and you will find this game uh, next to your system, and you'll probably get a little teary-eyed just because you will remember all the great memories you had with this game. All I really have to say is definitely a 10 out of 10, no complaints, and just a overall great way for the PS3 and Xbox 360 to kind of just go out with a bang. and. It's a great way to kind of close the Xbox 360 and PS3 chapter.